It's been seven days. We some southern boys with the prime strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. You know what? Last week, I was so upset. Last week, I was so furious. They should call me the the furious Jim, not the glorious. The furious Jim. Furious. I'm always mad. I'm always mad. Furious. I should be quiet. I should be chill. I should be chill. You see, Roblox, we're gonna get another woman son of match. Another one. Another one. Where's DJ Khaled at? We're gonna get another one. So what am I gonna do here? What I'm gonna do is, is this. It's because every time I ask, please, this needs to end. Please stop it. Please, no more. Title changes. What, what I'm going to do this time, all right? I may sound like a complete fool. I may sound like a complete idiot. But what I'm going to do is now, I will beg. I will beg for the feud to keep going. I beg for the feud to don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Keep going. Because every time I say don't. Every time I say no. Stop the feud. It needs to be done. It needs to stop. It needs to be ended now. It continues. So. So. What we're going to do is now. Everything I said in the past four days. Where I'm like please. End this feud. I'm not going to say nothing positive for 2017. Blah, blah, blah. No. Now I changed my mind. Because I realized. You you realize, man. Being negative. Negative, negative, negative. is not going to help. What you got to do is you got to think positive. Right? New Day style. You got to be. You got to be. Just got to feel the power of being positive. Positive. So what I'm gonna do is, I beg for the few to go on until the day I die. I beg for the few to go on forever. Don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Put them. Put them in every single gimmick match on every pay per view you got. Give me all of that. Keep flip flopping the title and devaluing the title because it doesn't really matter anymore. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I lost my fucking mind. Keep doing it. Because every time, I always say, please, no more title changes. Please, stop. Stop. And he said, no, no, no. Now, keep going. Can't stop. <laughs> Won't stop. Keep going, motherfucker. Be like a Rock in Austin, uh, a Hogan and Andre, a Brett and Michaels, a Cena and Orton times 10 on all of that. Keep going because you know what? The more you do that, the more if you if if you do that at all, let's just say that the women's division on Raw is not gonna be living anymore. I want it to keep going because if we're gonna have mindless idiots on the internet telling me otherwise, if you're gonna have mindless idiots or someone tell me to lighten up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't lightened up before. Now I have. I hope Charlotte wins the title. And then Sasha wins it on Raw. And then Charlotte wins again at the Rumble. And then Sasha wins it on Raw. And then Charlotte wins at Fastlane. And then Sasha wins it on Raw. And then WrestleMania. It's Charlotte versus Sasha Banks in a... Steel cage, Braun panties match. I don't fucking know. Something creative. I don't know. Take one gimmick and another one and put it together. Because that's what we deserve. We deserves. We fans deserve something like this. Something monumental for WrestleMania. I got one big question to ask you guys right now. And I want you to leave your answers in the comments below. Okay, here's the question. Are you believing any words that are coming out of my mouth? Do you? If you do, then you're a fucking idiot. 
if you believe every word that's coming out of my mouth, you're you're, you're mindless. You're 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 clueless. You need to have your brain examined. Your IQ level is very low. Everything I could think of to say something negative to your brain. Think of all those and just put them all together. You think I want this feud to go on forever? You think I want to sit here and enjoy this? I can't enjoy something that I genuinely lost interest. I can't lighten up to something I genuinely lost interest. Like I said about the new day. Like I said about the new day. At first, I gave them a chance. And then, I genuinely care. But now, I don't give a fucking damn what they do. I don't care anymore. I lost complete interest. Period. Because you see, in the tag team in the women's division, they are so awful. Me taking a roll of toilet paper and wiping my backside is better than the Raw Women's Division and the Tag Team Division. Me taking out the garbage every day or every other day is better than the Raw and Raw Women's and Tag Team Division. Me going to pick up my sister from school, dealing with annoying ass kids in the neighborhood is better than the Raw Women's and Tag Team Division. You see, the tag team, there's no tag team. Enzo and Cass, Cesaro and Sheamus, New Day, the Shining Stars, the Golden Truth, and the club, six teams. Six teams. And and, and, and two of them have have a little bit of credibility, and, and one has a shred of it, and the others don't. I don't know. And 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 the raw women's division we have we have Dana Brooke, Bailey, Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Charlotte, Sasha, Tamina, Summer Rae, Paige. That's 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 nine. But guess what? Summer Rae off TV, Paige off TV, Tamina just returned. So a little shred of hope, but no one's gonna care at all. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is that you see, I hope for Monday Night Raw. I always do. I always be like, maybe, maybe this week it will be different. Maybe this week, but I'm always wrong. There, no, there are times where they catch me off guard and they and they prove me right. They prove me wrong. Actually, I mean, they prove me wrong when they catch me off guard. But then when I expect it to be shit most of the time, it has been shit. I've always heard the Monday Night Raw weeks following the one Raw that was great is what's important, and I believe, and that that is a fact because what without the Raw without the Raws uh, weeks after. Then that raw that one episode doesn't mean shit. It's like it's just that one day you got lucky. It's like that one day you won the lottery. It's like the one day uh, you banged the hot chick. It's that one day you want you went on a date with the girl you like. It's that one day where you find money on the floor. It's that one day where you survive a a, a critical situation. That's what it is. A good episode of Raw is all of those things. One good episode of Raw a week. One good episode Raw of Raw of Raw a month is is one of those days. And every other Monday Night Raw of the month is the day where you struggle and you have to fight to get those to get those things. To either go through it 
and survive or get the things you want. You see, at Roblox, I pre I'm. This is not my predictions. The next predict my predictions for Roblox will be at the next Seven Days podcast, which will be next Friday. You see, next week, t uh, which is twelve days from now. Okay, twelve days. No wait, it's not twelve days. My bad. It's about what? It's about nine days. Nine days from now. Okay, nine days from now. Roblox. We have Rollins versus Jericho again. We have Owens versus Reigns again, and we have women's Iron Man match. Uh, Thirty minutes, women's title. Sasha versus Charlotte again, and that's it. They better make those matches long as shit. Obviously, you're going to add some stupid matches that's going to be built off this Monday night coming on Raw on the 12th. So, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. Ah, just talking about Raw makes me tired. Fuck. Um, TLC. Was a good show. I was just a little bit bored of it. I was bored going. I was I was hyped going in, but then later on I was bored, and then I gained a little bit of interest in the end. But I can still sit here and say it was a great show. I'm not saying nothing else. Okay. I'm just saying for what it is. Now the fact that SmackDown has four commentary tables is just ridiculous to me. I look back. And I, I, I don't want to sound like those people be like, oh, back in these days, you know, it, it was better. It was better with two and then the da, the da, da, da. But it's, 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 it's honestly true. It's way better with two commentators. All you need is one that's a baby face and calls the match and the other's a heel and basically the antagonist. You know, the one, the, the other one is the one where It'll piss you off and shit. That's what you need. You don't need four commentary people. You don't need that many people. For God's sakes. The first time they started doing three announcers for Raw was when JBL and, and JR and Michael Cole was there. And then it elevated to 2013 when they add JBL to Raw. When JBL was on SmackDown with, with Josh Matthews at the time. And then it escalated for years. And now, we have four people. Percy Watson on NXT. I mean, just looking back, I did like some things about Percy Watson. But in the end, I just don't care. Yeah, he could do his, oh yeah, all that shit. But in the end of the day, I just don't care. It's like, why are you here? You were on the shitty NXT. Alright, you were on the... The freaking... You, you were just on the... I don't know what to call it. The, the ECW... I don't know. You were just... You were on the game show NXT. You are not on the serious, awesome looking, best brand of WWE ever. NXT, the Mark NXT, that's that's what it's called, the Mark NXT, the uh, the Mark brand where us wrestling fans, you know, when they watch, they see good wrestling. They don't see bad television. They see good things. Nowadays, it's it's a little bit lame because we don't have that much stars on the show. We have Ty Dillinger. Samoa Joe, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Bobby Roode. And Eric Young, and yeah, maybe an A-double, I don't know. So, uh, uh, Roderick Strong, I don't know. He needs to work his way up. But you know what I mean. We have about five to six people. I was wondered why NXT does not have a mid-card. 
title, but I guess you don't need it. But I don't know. Now, my thoughts on Nakamura, if he ever goes to the main roster, or Joe going to the main roster. You see, I want them to go to Raw. You see, I know for, for a fact that they go to Raw. They cannot fuck up Shinsuke Nakamura. If Nakamura goes to Raw, they seriously cannot fuck him up. Because I swear Nakamura knows his war hit. He knows about how much he's... he's He knows when he's wanted and when he's not. He knows when he feels mistreated or not. You know, he knows when... When, like, it's it's a good decision. It's good business, you know. Like, he knows when he feels happy. If he feels happy there, then... You get, you got money in this guy, you know. This guy can connect with um with everyone. Yeah, there's gonna be some people that they'll, they'll disagree and be like, oh, he's doing all these gay stupid shit. The fuck is he doing? Because you don't understand it. Nakamura is a character where you don't you you can't understand him. That's the thing. Nakamura is a character where you don't understand what he's all about. He's all over the place. He's doing wacky shit, but he can hit hard at the same time. Nakamura can do anything, and you won't expect it. Okay, Samoa Joe, him, I want him to go to. It's his thing. I, I, I feel like he should go to SmackDown. He should, but then at, at the same time, I feel like he should go to Raw at the same time too. I don't know. I feel like if he goes to SmackDown, you know, I feel like SmackDown might be overflowing with too much talent, and they don't know what to do with them. I don't know why I'm getting that thought. I really don't know why. That just makes no sense. I don't know why I'm getting that thought. But you know what I mean? I'm just getting this 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 thought where like Samoa Joe's going on to this brand and then you look at Raw, it's like Raw's like that lonely kid you see sitting there. You know, you're just sitting there doing nothing and you just feel sad for it, you know? So you feel like you feel like going there and just giving Raw that uh giving Raw Samoa Joe might might Revitalize the damn person. Revitalize the damn show, and and just bring life, bring new life into the show. I don't, I don't fucking know. But all I know is, if Joe goes to Raw, Roman Reigns. Enough said. Roman Reigns. Need I say more? Roman Reigns, okay. She's getting Nakamura. He cannot be fed to Roman Reigns. He can't. Why should he be fed to Roman Reigns? Roman Reigns went up against... Let's see. Starting 2014, he went up against Randy Orton. Kane. Big Show. Daniel Bryan. Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins. Dean Ambrose. AJ Styles, Triple H, and now Kevin Owens. Think about that. Think about that. Randy Orton, Kane, Big Show, Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, AJ Styles, Triple H, and now Kevin Owens. Ten people. Roman Reigns has been has been fed to one of the greatest superstars in the WWE. Ten people. Nakamura cannot be that eleventh. That's what I'm just saying. But knowing WWE, you know, making dumb choices like making Reigns main event WrestleMania, which was the worst main event I've ever seen. You know, one of the most least anticipating, one of the most uninteresting, doing whatever it takes but doesn't get the job done for me, main events of all time. One of the most skippable main events I've ever seen of all time at WrestleMania. WrestleMania 31, I wish, I wish, but WrestleMania 31 was, the people said that was the best one since 17 last year. No bullshit. I've heard it from 
everyone from YouTubers and shit. To, uh, WrestleMania was the best one since 17. WrestleMania 31. So they're overlooking WrestleMania 25, 26, 7. Well, obviously 7. But 28, 29. They're overlooking 24, 23, and 22. 21, 20, 19, 18. Just stick it with 17. So. So, yeah. Roman Reigns is that guy. That I see beating Samoa Joe. Being, f being feed upon by, uh, by Vince McMahon. Mr. McMahon say, "All right, Roman, you have another bowl of Samoa. You have another bowl of being fed to. Here you go. It's called Samoa Joe. It's Samoa Sloppy Joe. Here you go. And then he eats that. And then yeah. So Roman Reigns is the reason why I don't want Joe going to Raw. But yeah." Uh, there's some news like uh, Lawler, Lita left WWE. Like Lawler has a Legends contract, but Lita left the WWE. Uh, I don't know about this. One of my favorites of all time that turned the heat that turned heel not too long ago, like earlier this year, Jerry Lawler. You know he turned heel when Mauro Ronaldo came through, and now and and now, ever since he went through that that stupid situation with a stupid girlfriend, and then. Ever since then, that ruined everything. I was loving Lawler when he was a heel sitting in that chair. But then when his stupid girlfriend got involved with his life back home, fucked up everything in my eyes. Fucked up everything to where I'm like, fuck. Fuck his girlfriend, bro. I don't care what anyone says. But um, besides that, I tried to watch TNA, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I just didn't care. All I know was that EC3 and uh, Ethan, uh, sorry, and uh, Eddie Edwards fought for the world title, but no avail. Uh, it ended in a freaky situation where like one pinfall and a and a tap out at the same time. It was one of those finish. And I don't know what's going to happen next. But next week, it will be the final deletion. It will be the total deletion. Total nonstop deletion. I can't wait for that. I will be hype as fuck for that. Can't wait for that next week. I, I even asked while I was watching the, the, the preview package. I'm like, did he bring the bucks of youth? Did he bring the days of the new? You know? I just can't wait, but WWE is not really interesting. I mean, Lucha Underground, uh, Battle of the Bulls, Lucha Underground, where you have to compete. They're like, no, there's like four. There's four Fatal Four Way matches. E uh, in each match, the winner of the individual Fatal Four Way matches. Will be qualified into the ultimate fatal four way elimination match, where the winner will f of that match will face the world heavyweight champion, which is Johnny Mundo at the moment. Sexy Star defeating PJ Black to become to get her ch her her rematch against Johnny Mundo for the world title in a steel cage, and Anne Helico trying to get revenge on Mundo wanting a match with them. Uh, yesterday night, uh, two nights ago, but, but, uh, Mundo lawyered, lawyered up. He, he got some lawyers involved, so, made him change his mind. But, uh, and Helico is in the Battle of the Bulls, uh, qualifying situation, so, I don't know, but the matches were great. I, uh, I mean, Mil Mortis was in it, but he lost. I was like, oh, and like, when he, when I heard, being accompanied by Katrina, I'm like, oh no! So the cage and in the life of the Mac, right? If you don't know where that's from, the, come on. If you play GTA Five, 
there is a song called In the Life of the Mac in the soundtrack in GTA 5. Okay? That's why I always say that. Right? So, the Mac, one of the most... One of the best big guy wrestlers I've ever seen. This guy's doing stunners like he's Austin. He's doing flips like he's a damn luchador. Like he's a damn cruiserweight. This guy can do it all. And I love it. In the life of the Mac. So the Cage and the Mac won. So next week we're going to find out the next two participants. And then we're going to have the ultimate Fatal 4-Way elimination match. And the one of that match will face Johnny Mundo for the world title. That'll be blessed. Yeah. Not that much. Uh, SmackDown, nothing. Uh, SmackDown was a good show to watch. You know, I'm not, I always I'm always hyped for Raw more than SmackDown because I guess it's on a Monday night. Because when it's Monday, everybody hates Mondays. Cause it's like, fuck, I gotta go to school. Fuck, I gotta go to school. Uh, I gotta bring my kid to to school. Then I gotta go to work and then get back in time to pick up my son or my daughter or my kid, whatever. And then. Making food and repeat. Oh, God, work is a pain. Like, you know, so to me, Monday is like that one. Day, it's Monday Night Raw. I get hyped just because it's like it's a new it's a new week. You know, Monday, nobody's hyped for Mondays, you know. So it's like I find something hype. I find something to get hype over. Tuesday is like, ah, uh, it's the second day of the week. Only three more days to go. And then, you know, it's the weekend. So. So yeah, SmackDown came through uh, live in Houston, I think. And then uh, we're supposed to have a WWE title match, but AJ Styles was injured, supposed to be gone for like, he's injured for like a week or so. So it won't be that bad, thank God. And then uh, Ellsworth came out. Ellsworth, I'm like, let's see how Ellsworth's gonna, let's see how Ellsworth's gonna change. Let's see what type of attitude's gonna change. He comes out saying, AJ, you're ducking me, bruh. You're ducking me. You th- you don't think, you, you, come on AJ. You think, I don't know what you're doing. All right, you're making these excuses because you're ducking me because I have your number, because you know I can beat you. And I'm just sitting there thinking this guy, he grew up, he grew some balls, didn't he? Like uh, what the f- where the fuck did this come from? Coming out here saying, uh, uh, I beat you three times. <laughs> I, I have your number, AJ. So I, 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 can, I can beat you. It's like, where the fuck did this come from? This guy grew a set. What the fuck is, where did this come from, right? So, and then AJ just laughing at him and shit. And, and D- Daniel Bryan's excuse for having an Intercontinental title was weak in my eyes. I'm sorry. I know you hate the guy, but not even I would do that. I mean, come on. Uh, well, Daniel Bryan came out on the Miz TV segment, you know, announcing that it would be an Intercontinental Championship match between Miz and Ambrose after the hellacious, uh, 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 matches at TLC. You know. Their respective matches. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of that word. Respective matches that they had. You know, ladder match and TLC match. You know, I'm think I'm just sitting there thinking, okay, that's a little shady. I'm not going to lie, Daniel. Now, come on. Come on. That's a little foul. So, the fact that Daniel Bryan made that match, I only knew two ways this was going to end. Either Miz is going to win by cheap shit or else was going to screw him over again. And guess what? It it, it was both. Mar- Maris got involved. And then Ellsworth came through and tried to explain to the referee, Look, Mar- Maris tried to fuck him over. And I'm just telling you that she tried to fuck him over. And then everyone saw him like, The fuck are you doing? And then say goodbye to the good old days. Scott Christian finale, one, two, three. Miz retains the title. Obviously, like, he's going to drop it after having a hellacious match after, uh, oh, 48 hours later after TLC. Fuck that, you know? Then you're Brian on talking smacks. Like, the reason why we had that Intercontinental Championship match is because we were we were supposed to have the WWE World title in the main event, but AJ got injured, so, the, uh, so we had to replace. So I'm like, what? That made no sense. Come on. That's a little shady. 
I would have done a, a number one contendership right off the bat heading into the Royal Rumble. That's what I would have done. Because seriously, we we have like less than a month now. Or more than, more than, yeah, like, uh, we have, what, the the rest of the month of December, and then we have three to four weeks in January, and then we have the Royal Rumble. Like, I want to start building from there. Start building up, start building up who will be your 15 representatives to be in the Royal Rumble match. That's what I would have done. You know, I would have been like, okay, we're going to start, we're, we're going to have qualifying matches each week. Basically, 15 matches for, like, we're going to have, like, at least, what, two match, two matches a night of uh, qualifying matches for the Royal Rumble, right? So, it'll keep going until, like, I don't know how long it'll keep going for. Maybe it'll keep going until, um, until the fucking pay-per-view. Like if they couldn't get all fifteen to the pay all the way to the pay per view, then I would have done something like a tag team situation where like two people can enter, or six men where three people can enter and shit at the same time, shit like that. You know, just to make it faster and shit. But yeah, I would build my my fifteen guys to be in the rumble. That's what I would do. Raw can't really do that. Bro, they can a little bit, but they don't have enough big stars that people will actually care. But oh shit, he might. He might pick, you know, shit like that. But then your brother's like, oh, we, yeah, title, the, the WWE title's supposed to be on the line, but we didn't get that, so we have to use the Intercontinental title. I'm like, come on, Durant, that's a little shady, come on. I I mean, I would have built, I would have had no more contendership for the WWE title or build up to the Royal Rumble match itself. I wouldn't have an Intercontinental title because the Miz just went through a hellacious match. I would give the guy a break because he deserves it. He, Manny Cinnamon involved, he, she didn't get involved. Okay. This time I agree with the Miz. She, he deserved that victory at TLC. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, and now I'm at a crossroads because, you know, someone's going to be asking me like, oh, he didn't deserve the, the other Victories that he did and shit. I'm like, come. Okay, look. Look. He cheated to win. And I respect that mentality. Win at any cost. I respect that 100%. But, you know, babyface heel situation. Storyline or real life situation. Real life, I, I, that's where I accept that. But... Storyline? No, I don't accept that. So, yeah. Mission. Mission should have lost the Intercontinental title back at Backlash to Dolph Ziggler, but he didn't. He should have lost it to Apollo Crews, but he didn't. He should have lost, like, you know, like, yeah. So, but besides that, I would, like, that's just shady to me. But, but uh, I mean, Daniel Bryan always has the fans on the side, no matter what. Bryan, well, no matter what he does, that's why they brought him back. Because no matter what he does, he gets a reaction to where the fans love him. That the fans will do whatever it takes just to see Daniel Bryan again. Now, if Daniel Bryan wrestles again, I would love for him to fight The Miz. Oh my god, the story. I don't care. It doesn't have to be against Nakamura. Why does it have to be against Nakamura? It doesn't really have to be. I mean, let him fight the Miz first and then save the Nakamura situation for a better time, which would be, I would say, the next WrestleMania when he, when Nakamura is all built up like this big ass superstar, right? And then Daniel Bryan's the one guy he has not fought yet. And then. WrestleMania comes through, and then after that, WrestleMania, like in WrestleMania 34, and I, I hope to God in Toronto, but anyways, WrestleMania 34, he comes through, and then, and then, they have their match. But WrestleMania 33, bruh, Daniel Bryan versus The Miz, that arena in Orlando, Florida, will erupt. If once Daniel Bryan beats the Miz, bro, that's how I would have booked it. You don't need nothing else. You don't need Daniel Bryan to wrestle a match on SmackDown. You don't need shit. All you need is Daniel Bryan versus the Miz. Hell, 
add a little Brie Bella at ringside if you want to support uh, 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 the uh, Daniel Bryan, but I don't think that'd be wise because she can't. I I think she'll still be pregnant at that point, so it would be pointless because she won't be able to get to be. To be physically involved in the match. But besides that point. You know what I mean. You know. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. That would be money. Bruh. It's like all that shit Miz and Daniel Bryan are talking to each other. All that good good that they're talking bro. All that bad stuff. All the trash talking. Will finally come into play. And then they fight at Wrestlemania. And that's where I'm going to end the podcast. Do you guys agree with me that WrestleMania would be the best place for The Miz versus Daniel Bryan? Would that be the, the best place for Daniel Bryan to return to action? I would. I do. I think it's a great idea. Do you? Leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts. All right? Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. I read them all. And I will reply... You know, if I feel like it, <laughs> basically. But, yeah, leave your comments down below. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. You got to be active because I keep seeing subs go up and go down. So, you got to be active in order for you to see my stuff in my sub boxes. Because without, without, um... Without you being active, you won't see my stuff in the sub box, you know? Because YouTube is, uh, how can Matt Hardy say this? Uh, broken! So, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, leave a like on this video. Subscribe now for more. Follow me on Twitter at boy 123 The Twitter link is always in the description. Follow your boy on Twitter. Because on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown and, 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 and on pay-per-views, I, I always tweet out whatever I want to tweet out. I tweet out how I feel at that moment. So, yeah. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Like this video. Be active. Leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye. See you, see you in the next seven days.